All right, GV, it's that time of the week, and you know what that means. That's right, another episode of GV TV. Okay, hold on a sec. Have you ever babysat anyone? Actually, matter of fact, I have. Let me tell you, it's not easy. Let's go out to Lexi and Cooper to see what it really takes to take care of multiple children every single day. When all of your flaws and all of my flaws are laid out one by one. Hey GV, it's Lexi here, and I'm at the Duncan Academy in North Grain Valley. So let's go learn a little bit more about it. All right, I'm here with Aaliyah, a teacher at the Duncan Academy in the preschool room. And what is your favorite part about your job? Um, I would say that my favorite part is just having fun with the kids and making learning fun. Uh, just enjoying time with them and showing them that coming to school is a fun thing to do and kind of show them that separating from mom and dad doesn't have to be a bad thing. That's fun. And what are some of the challenges that you face with your job? Um, I would say the biggest challenge is trying to kind of have a plan in place for all of the different kids um, and understanding that not everyone learns the same way or at the same pace. Okay, well thank you. Thank you. All right, now I'm here with Angel. He's actually a super student today at school. And Angel, what's your favorite part about school? Mm, uh, going outside. Is there anything else? Mm-mm. You guys don't do any fun jobs or anything? I do fun job. What's your favorite job? Mm, being on pink and uh, being a teacher helper. A teacher helper? Mm -hmm. What are some things that you do when you're a teacher helper? Mm, sit at the decks and do my work at the decks. That sounds awesome. Thanks, Angel. All right, I'm here with Will Gillette again, and Will, do you like daycare? Yes, I like it very much because you get to see people learn, and I get to learn too. That sounds super fun. And do you? What's your favorite part about daycare? The, my favorite part is going to the zoo and seeing all the pretty animals, going to the movies, and going to see Bump City. Or going to Bump City. All right. Well, it sounds like you have a lot of fun at daycare. Thank you, Will. Welcome. All right, now I'm here with Micah. And Micah, what's your favorite part about school? Um, science experiments and coloring and staying in my room. Yeah, is there anything else? Um, what's your favorite classroom job? Um, ground and marker helper. Yeah, what, what kind of things do you do when you're a crown and marker helper? You get out crowns and markers. Awesome, thank you. All right, I'm here with Ethan. And Ethan, what is your favorite part about school? Mm, eating lunch. Playing activities. Mm, painting. Napping. Okay, thank you. All right, now I'm here with Mason. And Mason, what's your favorite part about school? My teachers. <coughs> it's science. Science? Who's your teacher? Miss Olivia. And um, do you do any specific jobs in your classroom that you help with? Sometimes. What's your favorite one? Teacher helper. Yeah. What do you like to do as a teacher helper? Sit at the desk and do the worksheets. All right, that sounds awesome. Thank you, Mason. All right, I'm here with Zoe. And Zoe, how do you like school? What's your favorite part? Um, teachers. Who's your teacher? Miss Elia. Yeah? And um, what's your favorite classroom job? Flag holder. Weren't you the flag holder today? I saw you up there. That's pretty cool. And um, do you have a favorite subject, like math or science or something that you do? Um, science. Thank you very much. All right, now I'm here with Alistair and Jace. And what's you guys' favorite part about uh, about daycare? 
Yeah? Sounds awesome. Thank you guys. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Ellie and Emily. And what's your guys' favorite part about school? Your book? Yeah? Yeah? Your book? <laughs> All right. Are you yeah? Sleepy? That's fun. Look at him. More. Hi, I'm here with Nicole Love, office manager at Duncan Academy in Will. So why does why is Duncan Academy better than other daycares? It's better than other daycares because we have a lot of opportunities for our kids to get out, enjoy different things, and be active. All right, and Will, do you like daycare? Yes, I like it a lot. And it's there's a lot of stuff you could do here. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> All right, so Nicole, what is the best part about your job? The best part of my job is that I get to play with little kids and teach them to learn new things every day. That's awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Well, as you guys can see, it's movie time. So unfortunately, we have to go back to you in the studio. When all of your flaws and all of my flaws are laid out one by one. Wow, who knew taking care of kids all day long would be so exhausting? Actually, everyone. Mm, right. Thanks, Lexi and Cooper. Man, I think I'm gonna have to make a New Year New Year's resolution. I need to remember that next time I'm out, I'm asked to babysit. Hey, that's kind of like the one I had. Speaking of New Year's resolutions, I'm pretty sure Megan and Drake are out talking about uh, other peoples here in Grand Valley. Cool, let's go take a look. Hey GV, I'm Drake. And I'm Megan. And after the passing of 2015, many of your fellow students have come up with goals for the new year. Let's go check it out. I'm here with James Taylor. And James, what was your New Year's resolution for this year? To work out more and be super cute. <laughs> All right. How's it been going out for you so far? Uh, I'm just cute, but maybe not cute enough, so I'm working on it, but I'll get there eventually, working hard. It's good spirit, man. You get there. Yep. Thank you. I'm here with Callie Beckman, and Callie, what is your New Year's resolution? Well, my New Year's resolution was to be happy and positive every single day. And how have you gone about doing that? Well, every day when I wake up, I say one good thing about today, whether it be, oh, look, it snowed, or I don't know, just that I'm alive, so <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'm here with Mitchell, and Mitchell, what were your goals for this new year? Uh, coming into the new year, I was wanting to place at state this year in wrestling. How's it been going? It's been going good. We've been training mostly every morning before school and going through tough practices to get me where I want to be. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with Caitlin Watson. So, Caitlin, do you have a New Year's resolution? Nope, but if I did have one, I would be more outgoing and meet new people. Well, good luck with that. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's so cool. Yeah, I had no idea so many people actually had New Year's resolutions. Well, not everybody's like you, Sean. Well, kind of deep time in. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Now, can we take a break? I'm hungry. Dude, now we're in the middle of an episode. Sorry, man, I'm just starving. You should have taken foods class. They make a lot of food in that class. Okay, hang on. Did I hear you correctly? We have a foods class here in GV. Uh, yeah, we have that class. I think we better head out to Alley to see some of the other practical arts you may not know about. Hey, Grand Valley, Brett Kirk here. And here at GV, we have many practical art classes that you probably didn't know about. Today, we're going to check some out so you know what to put on your schedule for next year. Freddie Hernandez here with Mr. Grillo. Mr. Grillo, what classes, what practical art classes do you have to offer? Uh, right now, I teach principles of engineering. Um, we also offer, through Project Lead the Way, um, introduction to engineering and design, uh, digital electronics, and um, CEA, civil engineering and architecture. For those who don't know, what is Project Lead the Way? Uh, Project Lead the Way is a, a, a organization that um, has a bunch of engineering classes that they put together. Um, we actually offer biomedical classes as well. There's different sectors to the uh, types of classes that we offer. 
Um, the one, the one that Mr. Jakes and I teach is uh, gateway to gateway to engineering or pathway to engineering. Sorry. Um, and we also offer biomedical in next year. Um, I believe they're planning on adding um, computer sciences. And what types of students would you recommend to join Project Lead the Way? Anybody. I mean, anybody who thinks they would, in the least part, be interested in, in taking any sort of engineering class or biomedical class or computer science class. Um, you really don't know if you're going to be interested in the class until you take it. And I've had a lot of students that, you know, well, I just had this class put on my schedule, but um, they ended up finding out that they liked the class. Even though they didn't know anything about, about it before they took it. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Freddie Hernandez here with Miss Lane. Miss Lane, what kind of classes do you teach? I teach Foods One and Advanced Foods, and the next year we're offering a new culinary class. Culinary class? What What's the difference between culinary and foods for students who are interested in joining that, possibly? Uh, we'll just do a, a lot more advanced topics, um, things that we're not able to do in the regular foods and advanced food classes. It is a year-long class, so we would be able to stay um, together and do a whole lot more than we normally do. And what requirements do you have to uh, take in order to go into culinary class? Uh, you will have to take Foods 1 and Advanced Foods uh, to be able to enter uh, Culinary 1. So you can take it as a sophomore as long as you have done both the two classes as a freshman. All right. Thank you very much, Ms. Lane. Elijah Renault here with Austin Brown. Austin, tell me, what is this class? Advanced Foods. And what are you doing there? You make food. Huh. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Why? You get to make foods like a fat guy's paradise. Right. We can all agree with that. Now I'm here with our Woods teacher, Mr. Shepard. What are the Woods classes? The Woods classes are about woodworking. Um, it's an art form, okay? But uh, it is not a fine arts class. It is a practical arts class. Uh, we have Woods 1, Woods 2, Advanced Woods, and Construction Technology. And in the woods class, woods one class, you will make uh, cutting boards, uh, jewelry box, a valet box. And woods two, you will move up to like end tables, uh, advanced woods. You can do things like gun cabinets, hutches, coffee tables. And in construction tech, we will do uh, framing, dog houses, um, drywall repair. So everything about woods class is all about uh, working with wood and anything that you use that's made out of wood. Interesting. Um, what students would you recommend to take woods? Any and all. Because sometimes you're going to have a house or something or you're going to have somewhere you're going to have to build something. So this is a good way to learn how to do that stuff before you get to that point. All right, thank you. Keep these in mind when you're picking your classes for next year. If you have any questions, ask your counselor in the guidance office. Now back to you in the studio. Hey, now those are some classes I might have to take next year. Good thing I'm a senior. In other news, basketball season is here, and everybody in GV knows what that means. Woohoo, yeah! Five quarters of pretty much everyone's favorite sport. Uh, you mean four, right? No, no, I mean, I mean five. You sure you have your math right? Well, thanks to FCA, there's one extra quarter with fun games. Let's head out to our news, newest GV TV member, Carson Macrum, to see what that's all about. Hey Green Valley, Carson here in the halls talking with Miss Beckman. Miss Beckman, I hear that the FCA is bringing an extra quarter to this next nice basketball game. Why don't you tell us about it? Yes, the, you're going to see everything about the fifth. And it's the fifth quarter on February 5th and it's here in our school and uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes just wants to give students an opportunity to kind of hang out have fun after a game we're gonna have some giveaways we'll have some games like minute to win it games and fear factor games and uh, it's just a great opportunity to hang out awesome that sounds really cool I hope to see a lot of the Grain Valley students uh, at the game supporting our players and having some fun afterwards thank you Miss Beckman back to you in the studio Thank you, Carson. Man, I'm so excited for the next basketball game. Same here. I think that's all we have for this episode of GVTV. See you on next week's episode of GVTV. It's my house. Come on. Turn it up.
Well played.